Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with his Hot Wheels DeLorean. So, this is the story. One of my viewers from Spain, believe it or not, also called Juan, is a train enthusiast. He hasn't got a channel or anything like that, but he customizes trains and makes dioramas and all that. Juan's been supporting my channel for a long time and I'm very proud that I can call him my friend now. So I wanted to do a project with him and I thought about making the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future 3 from scratch. I'm making the car, I send it to him as a present and he can put it on his train set or diorama and just send me a video to see if it works. Of course he agreed. Not only that, but he also told me he collaborates with the Railway Museum of Gijón in Spain and he wanted to use the diorama at the museum to show my car. Can you believe it? My car in a museum. He's also planning to use it on special occasions like, you know, your summer holidays and uh, Christmas when he gets really busy so people can see running in the museum and take pictures and videos. I can't believe it. Juan has been feeding me with advice and tips about trains and even sending me parts and train tracks. Uh, we finished this project before last Christmas, but because of the COVID, the museum has been closed and we've had to wait about five months for you to watch this video. This video is a bit longer than usual as I didn't want to split it into parts, but it's packed with good stuff. I think it's my most ambitious project so far and I hope you enjoy it. So the first part is gonna be me building the car from scratch and the second part will be the other Juan playing with the car in the museum. Trust me, watch till the very end. After stripping the paint, the first thing that I need to do is get the car ready. I'm not gonna paint it because the original time machine is silver, but I'm gonna give it a brushed metal effect. This will look really good when he starts to get his patina back. And now, it's time to have fun. The train and the car are not exactly the same scale, so I need to make some modifications on the chassis and also on the wheels. I'll let you watch and it'll make more sense. As you can see, the wheels are too far in, so I need to cheat a bit and uh, I'm gonna extend them. Once it's done, you'll never notice. It will also look like a train wheel, and for that, I'm just gonna use half of a prestud.
I'm making the engine now and the first thing that I need is a flat surface so I can build it up. For that I'm gonna use this bit of tin. It's Danish ham. It's a bit salty but it's what it is. I've made the shape out of tin and it fits nicely around all the curves on the bumper. I filled them with milliput and now I just need to sand it down flat. To build the size, I'm making a sandwich with some more tin. I'll be cutting and grinding the excess material. I need to make all the squares on the thruster and for that I'm using thin strips of tin. I'm doing all these without measurements, so I'll leave them a bit longer on purpose. Then I'm sanding them down and that will give you as well a bit of a curve. They took me ages to make, but I think they look pretty decent. There's a couple of magnets that I put on the back, and that is helping me to put everything into place. The engine is on different levels. So, I'm just gonna make some panels out of tin.
As you can see, the magnets are helping me to hold everything together while I'm gluing it. The rest of the parts of the engine are a bit too small to build them from scratch, so I'm just going to use parts from lighters and broken pens. The window also needs a trim. I'm putting the car together temporarily to do the next step. I'm gonna make the side panels. And for that, I'm using more tin. And this is the way I've done it. Once I'm happy with it, I'll use it as a template to do the other one, so both look exactly the same. I'm using some silver wire to do the edges of the panels. And here's one I made earlier. As you can see in the picture, there's a bit of gap in between the car and the panels. And for that, I'm gonna use leather.
this is the other one and I need to make sure that the leather brackets are in the same place on both. I'm painting the interior now as I need to put the car together to carry on building. I wasn't gonna do anything with the interior because you can't see it with a tinted window but I got a bit carried away. I wanted to try some techniques that I'm gonna be using outside the car and this is what it looks like. You will see me doing things with cables in a bit. As I said before, you can't really see the interior, but it does the trick. I'm also using parts from an old CD player because I'm gonna need some components and resistors later on. The leather is soft so it gives me more pliability, once it's dry it go hard and it will stay in position. To connect both panels, I'm gonna make some little boxes out of tin. I've glued them on and now I need to put some cables between them.
I've done the front bumper in the same way that I did the side panels. There's some cables that goes from the front of the car to the back and for that I'm using a guitar string and some different sizes of cables. I'm also using the spring of a lighter. I'm threading the cables through the back panel so I can connect them later on with the rest of the engine. I'm gonna make now a couple of little boxes to connect the cables to the front bumper. I need a wooden box now to go in front of the car. I've got one here but it's just a bit big. I'm gonna use some wooden veneer to make my own. For the sides, I'm using thin strips of the same veneer.
Now I need to put some small components inside the box. And I've got plenty of them. To make the straps, I'm gonna use some cable and tin. I've made four of them and I've painted them brown. And this is the final result. It's a shame that you can't see the interior, but still plenty of detail outside. So, this is me done. I'm gonna send it now to Juan and he can play with it. My car in a museum. I still can't believe it. Thanks a lot Juan for wanting to do this project with me. It's been a pleasure and it's been a lot of fun. Thanks a lot everybody else for watching and if you leave a comment don't forget that there's two of us so leave a nice comment for him as well. Now it's time to see in action. Don't forget to watch this video till the very end. And I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.